fuck you thought. Okay, so I start off by deep conditioning my hair first and I'm using the Redken Extreme Strength Builder and I leave this in for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I go in with my shampoo. The shampoo that I use is the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. After I shampoo and condition my hair, I pull it back into a ponytail and I detangle in the shower. After I get out the shower, my hair is pulled back into a low ponytail to make sure my hair doesn't shrink back up. And then I go in with my Redken Satin Wear Heat Styler and this is a Thermal smoothing blow dry lotion and it helps with frizziness. It helps to detangle my hair. And this is the only thing that I use to blow out my hair. If you have fine hair like me, do not use a lot of this product. Put it on your hair as a whole. And if your hair starts to get dry throughout the process of blow drying it, just re-wet your hair with water. Do not reapply this product because then you're gonna have too much product in your hair and your blowout is not going to come out as flowy as you want it to be okay 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 moving on to the blow drying blowout process i'm going to show you guys the technique that i use to blow out my hair i use the tension method i don't know if you guys ever heard of this method but basically i just pull my hair until it's like straight and blow dry it like that i don't know how to explain it but this is what i do and this is what works for me because if i keep like brushing through my hair that hurts and that can cause breakage so i just pull my hair through the brush and i hold the excess hair in my hand as you guys can see and then i just use my blow dryer and i hold the blow dryer above the hair that is not in the brush and I direct it in a downward motion so that I don't burn my finger. And this is how I basically like blow out my hair. And then once the upper part of my hair is staying straight and is blown out, then that's when I will take the brush all the way down to the ends of my hair and blow the ends of my hair out as well. Once I have blown everything out successfully, I'll just go back over and run the blow dryer through my hair and my edges. Moving to the other side of my head, I'm basically going to do the same exact thing. Um, I'm taking some water from the spray bottle and the water's not even coming out. And I'm going to apply the water to my hair. Like I said, I cannot apply any more product in my hair because if I do, my hair is just not going to react well to the product. Um, I already put enough product in my hair. Like I said, my hair is fine and thin at the same time. So putting a lot of product in my hair is not going to do anything. I just have to spray more water on my hair to reactivate the product so that it's easier for me to comb through my hair. Right here, I'm just showing you guys how I hold my hair when I blow dry it. I put my thumb behind the brush and I hold the rest of my hair in a fist and my pointy finger is on top of the brush and that's basically how I blow dry my hair using the tension method. Basically, I'm just pulling my hair. <laughs> and then once the area up here is dry that y'all are looking at, I'll slowly pull the brush down and blow dry the rest of my hair out. And then once I have completed the blow drying process, I'll go back over my whole entire head and then move to the flat ironing process. So the detangling process and your blowout process is the most important part because if you don't detangle your hair right, it is going to be hard for you to blow dry your hair out. So that's why I detangle my hair in the shower while there's still conditioner in my hair. So my hair is like at a relaxed state. Um, it's already stretched because of the water is in it and it's easier for me to get through. So that's why I just detangle my hair in the shower while there's still conditioner in it and I put it in a ponytail. And then blow drying your hair, I feel like you should get it as straight as you can get it during this process so that when you straighten your hair, you won't be struggling. Straightening your hair should be the easiest part. It might be time consuming, but I feel like that should be the easiest part because you're just running through your hair with a flat iron. 
Okay, so before I start to flat iron my hair, I section my hair off into sections and work on one side. So this side that I'm working on, I'm just sectioning that back part off that I'm going to start flat ironing first. And I'll pull the rest up into a little bun and bobby pin it out of the way. Okay, so the flat iron that I use is from Pure Code and is a vapor flat iron. I also flat iron my hair on 430 degrees, but I do not pass through my hair more than one time. Sometimes I'll pass through it two times, but that's about it. But majority of the time, I'm just passing through my hair one time and I'm done. So I use my rat tail comb and I use the chasing method. And then I take my flat iron and pass over my roots about three to five times. And then I just go all the way down my hair with the rat tail comb in front of the flat iron and flat iron my hair and I don't normally need to go over my hair more than one time unless I feel like I missed a spot so majority of the time one pass gets the job done and now I'm just going to repeat that process all the way up to the top of my head and I'll just let you guys watch me flat iron my hair because I don't have anything else to say right now And just to let you guys know that it's not smoke coming from my hair. I'm not burning my hair. That's just steam coming from the flat iron and the products that I used in my hair. So I'm not burning my hair. Just to let you guys know. <laughs> Oh, and if you have problems with humidity and your hair reverting back, that used to be my biggest problem, y'all. Like when I used to straighten my hair, it used to revert back right in the bathroom right after I straightened my hair. And then eventually I went to a professional, which I do not do. That was like my first time ever getting my hair done by somebody professional. And she did my hair and it stayed straight for literally a whole month. Y'all, I was super duper nervous when she was doing my hair because like I said, that was like my first time ever getting my hair done by a professional and I didn't know if she would burn my hair I didn't know if I would get heat damage I'm just like I'm trusting this stranger with my hair and I don't trust anybody with my hair she wasn't a complete stranger because I work with her and then I eventually found out she did hair and then I started questioning her on products and stuff like that and then that led to her doing my hair so she wasn't a complete stranger she was just a stranger to my hair and once a month had passed and I washed my hair and I saw that I didn't have any heat damage I was just like Girl, I need to know what you put in my hair. And the thing is, she did not use a lot of product in my hair at all. She shampooed my hair, she conditioned it, and then she took me to the seat and she sprayed some type of spray on my hair and flat ironed my hair and it stayed straight for like a month. The spray that she sprayed in my hair before she flat ironed my hair, I think that's what made the difference. I think that's what made my hair not revert back. Um, but that product got discontinued. So I went back to the salon and they recommended me to use the Red Ken Satin Wear. And I think this is what's keeping my hair straight. So I'm saying all this to say, if you're having problems with humidity, just look at the products that you're using. Maybe you're using too much or maybe you're just using the wrong product. Or you can just go to a professional and get some advice on how to straighten your natural hair. After I'm done straightening my hair, I get my hot comb to straighten out my edges. And I straighten my edges in a downward motion because that's how I'm going to lay them in the morning. So yeah. And then to finish everything off, I get my Red Ken Frizz Dismiss Instant Deflate Oil Serum. And I put that all through my hair. And I don't use a lot of this serum at all because I don't want anything to weigh my hair down. So I go easy with the oil. And majority of the time I do my hair at night. So I go to sleep right after I do my hair. So I'm just wrapping it up. And the first night of me wrapping my hair is like a headache because... It just never wants to stay in a wrap um, and I also use a stocking to wrap my hair because that's just what works for me and once I finally get it to stay wrapped <laughs> um, this is how it looks and then I get this stocking that is used to wrap my hair or keep my wrap into place I like using the stocking more than I like using a scarf because this stocking always stays in place and sometimes when I use my scarf it just falls off in the middle of the night and I have to get up and rewrap my hair. Don't nobody got time to be messing up a fresh blowout. Don't nobody got time for that. And the stocking is just easier to use. It covers my whole entire head as a whole and it doesn't allow hair to fall out and it's still breathable. So. I like using a stocking. So that completes my curly to straight routine. I really hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Uh, fuck you thought.